I'm gonna stream some of this map set here that I was playing last night called Nova the Birth. Um, focusing on more. Oh, let me mute myself. This map set here that I was playing. Um, yeah. Cool. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. So, if people want to come in, that's fine. It's a little late, even for. Uh, you know, West Coast time, so whatever. I just kind of wanted to play through this uh, set more, just because I enjoyed the last stream, so here we go. Um, this is uh, map 15, The Prisoner by Cannonball. Oh my gosh. Come on, Twitch. Stay with me here. Um, yeah, okay, it looks like I'm um, Sea Doom. Cool. Oh no! That's what I figured. I gotta get acclimated to playing this game again. Gotta get in the zone. This is map 15. It ain't gonna get any easier. <sighs> By the way, sorry the audio quality is not the greatest. Um, I'll try and move it closer to me, but... I have a mic, it's just um, not like a headset mic, so it's a little hard to use it during streaming. Hello, Squid Moki. Thanks for tuning in. Okay. So I'm just, I just got out of prison here. Uh, let me know if the stream quality is good, by the way. I, I upped the frame rate just a tiny bit, but otherwise it's the same settings as I had last time. And I didn't really have any problems last time, so... But I don't know. It might be different tonight, who knows. These things always... Oh, god damn it! These things always vary. Yeah, see, that's what I thought was gonna happen. Well, you just get to watch me do this over again. If I actually pay attention. I might have to die several times before I actually remember what I'm doing. Yeah, so I played this uh, through up till map... up till now, map 15, yesterday. And I actually enjoyed it quite a bit. I mean, it's not... It didn't blow me away. There were a few maps that I really liked. Um, but it was generally the quality was was good, I would say. And there were a few maps that were better than good. And there were, there were a couple. There was one, it was map uh, 13. And that map was absolutely maddening. I did not like that map at all. But other than that, um, pretty, pretty good. Agua. Alright, we got some revenants up here. Let's save just for the hell of it. Um, is this the... Yes, I want to save that one. Alright. Nope. I totally have rockets. I, I have, like, much higher level weapons here that I should just be using.
I love this game, my PC can't handle it. Your PC can't handle Doom? That sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. Hello, uh, Eevee. Damn it. Alright. Bring out some some of the bigger guns here. God damn it! <laughs> I'm not gonna pretend that I'm the best Doom player in the world. That's all I can say. Nice. Yeah, let's just keep going over there. Oh, there's a key over here. I, I, I do not want to get distracted. What? I actually don't know. I got killed by a Hell Knight. Oh, I'm playing on Hurt Me Plenty, which, as you can see, uh, even though it's easier than ultra violence, I still don't know what I'm doing. That's the virtue of live streaming, especially a game like this, which I just fucking suck at. Um, it's okay though. Once I get into the groove of things, I think it'll be a little bit better. I'm sorry for dying like 8,000 times right now. Kind of in a shitty mood, so I thought streaming would make me feel better. God damn it. I don't know why Doom Z Doom doesn't upscale messages. Okay. It would be easy like I would be a lot more confident at this part if I didn't have like no percent health right now. I just, I am so scared of those goddamn fireballs. This is not even that hard in the scheme of things, and I just fucking suck at it right now. Someone got killed right in front of the door there. I don't even care. I don't even care. Let's, let's do this. Get out of my way. God damn it! I'm sorry. There's gonna be more of this, unfortunately. It only gets harder after map 15. Map 15 is usually a pretty big turn turning point for a lot of map sets. Oh, god damn it. Are you serious? Oh my god. I should not be playing this video game. If I can just get past this damn room, I think I get some momentum here. But apparently, that's not gonna happen. Alright. Oh my god. I just wish I had some more health, that's all. I'm too distracted here. I would save, but I don't want to save at 
I totally have B a BFG, don't I? See, this is what I mean. I should just, like, use the fucking plasma gun or the BFG instead of trying to fart around like an idiot. I'm always, like, super anal about ammo conservation, and I just need to get off of it. Okay. Cool. Sorry you all had to see that. Jesus Christ. what I want. Yeah, it doesn't start off, it doesn't help that I started off with not that much health here. Alright, I'm back to about where I started. Does that activate a bridge? What is that? Oh! Oh god. Uh, Cannonball is, by the way, not really a new mapper. Um, I mean, he did something for um, Doom 2 and Name Only, which is the project that I started and then never did anything with. And then it got a, a reputation, I guess. That whole thing was kind of weird. I, I thought the set ended up okay. It was not the greatest set in the world. But um, apparently people got very upset that, um, that, the, that it did not follow their specifications or something. And it got a bad reputation. And then, because I tweeted about it, and somebody that I know from a couple different a couple of different people that I know from video game sites wrote about it, then people got mad that they wrote about it on video game websites. And honestly, what fucking ever? Because I tweet about I tweeted totally about lots of new mem sets on my um, on my Twitter account. I was actually more worried that people would think I was taking credit for it, which I tried to make sure that I wasn't. Um, but that even wasn't even really the concern. The concern was that, oh, God, it, oh, there's a chain getter up there. See, this is this is the kind of stuff that I don't like in do maps. I'm sorry, I'm all pissed off tonight. I just, I mean, I'm in a bad mood. Here's Here's an armor. Uh, but something... Oh, okay. Cool. Um, well, that's cool. I'll take that any day of the week. Let's just bring out the plasma gun here. Oh, I cannot open this door now for some freaking reason. Did I not hit the switch? Thanks for stopping by, uh, briefly, a EV. Um, I'm mainly doing this just to play stuff, and once I get over the hump, I think I'll start having more fun here. Thanks for coming by, though. Alright. So here we are gonna save, bring out this...
to go nuclear on the arch files. All right, it's making slow progress. Um, uh, I mean, yes and no. No, I really haven't been feeling okay lately. But it's not like it's not something that's happening in the immediate present. It's just I'm just frustrated about by a lot of things right now, and social media isn't making anything any better. And the election and all that crap. Um, it's just making me grumpy, I guess. Um, I'm just kind of tired with stuff being the way that it is. Alright, I ended up... I don't know what the purpose of... I, I think I hit a switch. Yes, I did. Thank you for asking, though. I appreciate it. Okay, who's gonna spawn in? Oh, oh, I can pick up some rockets here, so let's do that. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Feeling like an adult Doom player a little bit more now. Okay. Um, I didn't go here. What's that? Oh, right, that's the secret thingy. Oh, this just goes back here. And then there's the area that I didn't really go to over here. Oh, god damn it. I knew that was gonna happen, but I did not move quickly enough. See, that Mancubi was very slow and let me just run around him. Give him the run around. That one lone... Okay, yeah, I knew this was gonna happen. Fucking arch files everywhere, oh my god. There we go. At least he was in an easy place to hit. Alright. Not ideal health here, but at least I've been surviving. Nice to be in your stream. Thank you, keep trucking. Hello, chat. I don't know how many people are on because it's kind of late. But if there are people on, I'm. Oh! This is always useful. Okay, this map doesn't seem very big. It 
It's early here. Yeah, I figured. Either in the UK or Europe or Australia. Now there's a lot of doomers from Australia. Oh, where is he? Although Sunday morning is kind of a weird time to tune in, but maybe you're like me and have a bizarre schedule. Oh god, I did not see him. Europe, okay. this very nice juicy piece of cover here which makes everything so much easier. It's Monday morning, darling. Thank you. But yeah, I'm kind of curious as to why you might be tuning in on Monday morning. But like I said, maybe you have a different schedule because I have a weird schedule. When it exists at all. That's the nature of being self employed. God damn it. I moved too soon. It changes a lot? Yeah, I hear you. Oh, god damn it. All right, let's let's bring out the bigger guns. Cannonball. God damn it. Part-time work. I see. Oh, what the fuck am I even doing? I have a BFG. Oh god, when did you appear? Ugh, this is a little too much with the arch files, honestly. It's a little too much for me. I don't like it when people just... I don't like it when people just have, um... I'm on Twitch a lot? Oh, cool. I don't like it when people go crazy with the arch files, honestly. Oh god damn it. I'm not good with arch files, though. I mean, that's a common thing with with less experienced players, but God damn it! All right, we're saving right now. This map is not really to my liking, to be honest. Outside of the prison area, it just isn't that interesting to me. And it's exactly the kind of map that a lot of people in the Doom community tend to make. And that's fine if that's what you like. It's not what I like, though. God damn it! I'm trying to stand over here so the damn archfile doesn't spawn in. Oh my god. 
This is the kind of thing that where I'm painfully aware of the fact that I am just not as good at Doom as a lot of people. People who follow me on Twitter um, might think that I'm actually pretty good at this game, but once you see me play this level, it, it becomes painfully aware um, of how bad I am. So I'm hoping that there's less crazy encounters in the future and more kind of like puzzly stuff. I don't know. Just something a little bit more interesting to me. This, of course, isn't a bad map, but it's just not the kind of map that I like at all. Because, like, the last maps, um, the ones by Evil Ned and, like, some of the other ones, they had interesting themes to them, and even in the parts that were hard, they felt fair. Um, and this is just, like, one encounter after another. I just, I don't, I don't really like it. Hi, uh, Tasha. God damn it! I'm just tired of fucking arch files. In open areas, like, it's, I don't know, I'm, I'm done with it. I'm just done. People use them all the fucking time and I'm just tired of them. I don't even know if it's worth saving, because I'm probably going to die again. There we go. Just needed some patience. Cool. Well, thanks for stopping by, Tron Maximum, Tasha. Um, it says I'm wor I'm just working on design docs and having a nice, boring night tonight. I'm like all stressed out and in a weird mood about various things, so I'm sorry if I'm like extra weird tonight. I don't know. I like I was feeling sad last night, but then playing. Streaming made me feel better, so I was like, oh, maybe I'll try it tonight, but so far I've just been getting upset. We'll see if that changes after this map. I might be more into what comes later. Oh, I've already been down here. Alright, so I need to pick up the yellow key somewhere. WWE d debates today. I don't know too much about the WWE at all. I know some people who are into it. Um, not really my thing, but it's... I'm not as... Um, uh, I'm more open to it, I think, than I was when I was younger. When I was younger, I had a... Uh, Liz is fine. Uh, Ella Garo is fine, too. Honestly, I don't really care either way. I do want to get that. Um, I'm actually going to peace getting up really early. Have a great night, everyone. Thanks. Uh, thank you, Quest for Seattle. Where am I going? This map is not that complicated. I'm just um, I'm not good at navigating. Okay, I don't actually think I've been over... Oh. Okay, never mind. Alright, where did I pick up... So I picked up the red key, I think, here. And then I picked up the blue key in this room. I will take that. Um, and that opened up a switch in here. It's the sad thing about the map, is it'll tell you where the... where the key doors are, but certainly not where the keys are. I mean, I guess that that would defeat the purpose. I 
Oh, oh, okay. I see. Okay. I see what you're what you're doing there. Keep on trucking. Keep trucking. No, I've been here too. Huh. And then I went in here. Am I missing something? I hate to get lost this early on in the stream, but I do have no idea where I'm going. Um, so I've explored almost every area that I can get to right now. Oh! This opened up. Weird. I must have had to walk over something? I'm not gonna try and figure out what I did or didn't do, because I got it. All that matters. Yeah, the presidential debates are gonna be a nightmare to watch, to be honest. Not that it's ever, like, happy fun times, but... <sighs> Looking forward to not watching them. That's a good plan. I don't know, social media just makes me... I know this is not the real exit because I have the map thing now. Unless there's a whole extended secret here. Cool. I would have rather not had that happen, but given this map's predilection towards uh, throwing arch files at me constantly, um, I figured it might. There we go. I did that r correctly this time. This is kind of neat. Is it gonna do- yes, it's gonna do this thing. Okay. Alright, alright. Here we go. Social media is trash, I'm trying to use it less. Yes, I agree. I have like the Patreon and stuff, it's, it's difficult because I do feel an obligation to it. And people are giving me money ostensibly. I am getting, I, I do have some other sources of money, but like, I, I mean, I feel very privileged to make anything, um, and to be somewhat self-employed, but it is kind of at the mercy of whatever a random person who decides to give me money on Patreon think, might or might not think about me or my work. And I have no idea who most of those people are, so it's that's kind of weird, because I have no idea you know, what they're getting out of my work and all that, but, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice and all, it's just, um, partly because I do so many different kinds of things, too. Oh my god, see, this is, again, see, I'm playing on Hurt Me Plenty, this is clearly ultra-violence level violence. Oh my goodness. This is what happens whenever I use the rocket launcher. I am a child with the rocket launcher. Oh my god! See, I was actually doing okay that time. This is, this is exactly why... This is just like raw, uh, skill ability that is required in this kind of map that I just do not have. Um, and if I practiced a bunch, maybe, 
I could have it, but the problem is I'm just not that interested in it. So I kind of lose patience with it, to be honest. Right now I'm really losing patience with this, this map, and I really want it to be over as soon as possible. Sorry, Cannonball. Not really my kind of map, though. Alright. That is better. Oh, what? Oh my god. Why do people do this? Is it is do they think it's like good? Do they think it's interesting? Do they think it's interesting? Is this is this interesting to somebody? Honestly, like tell me. The thing is, like, that's such a common trope, and, like, I was not seeing that at all in the last, um, several maps. And then this one pulls all out all the stops. And this is why I like this set, even though it being newer designers, because, like, a lot of more experienced designers, now I'm not gonna say, like, you know, th there's a ton of different kinds of designers of Doom maps, but a lot of more experienced designers pull this stuff, and it's the kind of stuff that a lot of people like. And I don't really get it. It's not, it never made sense to me, because it's just not that interesting to me. Um, like, I understand if you're, like, really good at the game, then maybe you find this exciting to, like, run around. It's, it, but it's just not that, the encounters are not that interesting to me. See, I just find it frustrating. Like, I, I just want to not even play the rest of this map right now. But I know I'm close to the end, but like, why? Why don't you... Why do you have to keep doing these kind of bullshit encounters? Like, I don't get it. God damn it. I had like a little footing there. <sighs> At least give like me the option to, to skip this if I can, you know? Like if I if I run fast enough or whatever. There are too many different enemy types for me to do really anything except hope and pray to Jehovah. I understand that like an experienced Doomer might look at me right now and be like, oh you're such a retard. Um, but sorry to use that word, but that's the kind of thing that people often say or think. Um, but it just it's just not interesting to me. And chain gunners here too, like, every kind of, uh, enemy that could really fuck me up from long range is represented right here. Alright. I don't care that I only have 64 health, let's try and do this. Alright, we got some infighting going. 
It's not like I can't fight a cyber demon, you know? There we go. <sighs> Sorry, I'm I'm but like at least you guys get the sense of like the kind of shit that really annoys me in this game. Thank you, Squid Moki. I don't know- oh, okay, it's teleporting- it's allowing me to go back just because, um, there's no way to go up there otherwise. What- okay, so there's a passage right here. I want to see if I can get at least some goodies or something. But this thing is in front of it, so... Hi, Loveless TV. I'm currently, uh, being frustrated at this map, although it's almost, uh, done. I'm just trying to see if I can get the secret here. I'm not sure what this did. I think that might have just opened the door. Ew. Is this it? Oh my god, the... no. I have no idea what I opened up with that switch, actually. It totally exists, though. I totally hit a secret switch. What did I open up? Now I'm kind of confused, because I, I could see how that would open up this, that's kind of clever, and yet, did not open this up. Hmm. Frustrating. Well, I'm not really going to stick around to find it. Sorry, Cannonball. Wasn't a huge fan. Just not a fan of that kind of map. I think I'll be a bigger fan of this one because I remember that this guy um, did um, he did another map in this set that I actually really like that I played through before. Um, except I am dying now, but. I think I should be able to get my bearings a little bit more. This is not the kind of chain gunner placement I like, but at least I have a chance to pick them off from here. It's only going to get more difficult from here anyway. Alright. That one lonely... Sorry. No, those are just grunts. I don't know what their actual name is. Former humans, I think. Uh, were there other levels more interesting than that one? I would say so, yes. I liked most of them, um, initially. And this one isn't annoying me too bad so far, so we'll see. There, I mean, the levels are going to get harder, and I do often have the problem where I get about halfway through a map set, and I get bored because the combat gets too difficult, and I think the maps just go on for too long and, you know, stuff like that, so we'll see what happens. Um, like, I, there are some maps that I really like aesthetically um, later in this map set, which is partly why I wanted to play this, because um, I've never really given it a full playthrough. So hopefully I won't be as pissed off. <laughs> Sounds like me. Do you also keep trucking? Do you also give up halfway through mid map sets? I just think 32, 32 maps is a really long time. I'm really sad that I missed the secret exit on that map too, because I'm sure that, that that switch had something to do with it, and this secret level looks really cool. Maybe I'll try and find it, like, go back and find it on a stream or something like that. Um, I can't play non-Brutal Doom, the modern mod. I'm not a fan of Brutal Doom, but yeah, the mo modern mods um, are oftentimes too difficult for me. I mean, this is why I'm playing on um, 
Hurt Me Plenty, but even on Hurt Me Plenty, you, you saw how how much I got fucked up on that map. I mean, it's possible that the map designer didn't really balance it that much differently from Hurt Me Plenty, because um, I know it depends on what the map designers do and all that kind of stuff. But like here, this just opens up an im closet. Like this is by far not as difficult as that last map. I'm sure with 206 monsters, like, I'm sure it's gonna ramp up, but, you know, and I'm fine with it ramping up, but not, like, having every single room like that, you know. It just gets boring. And I thought that that, ma that last map was kind of boring layout-wise, too. Like, here's some good lighting. A lot of the maps in this set, um, before that last one, had some really good lighting, actually. And I, I would include this one. In. There's some good... See, like, even if this trap got more intense, uh, which it might, I would still like it because I think it's interesting. The map is called Teleportium. Um, yeah, you know. I'm not gonna hate on all things. Thanks for playing Nova. Uh, thank you, Dovu. Um, I was gonna play your map, the uh, secret map, but I didn't get to it. Um, maybe, maybe I can go back to map 15 and try and find it. I was just frustrated with map 15. Oh, cool. Yeah, uh, thanks for listening to my prior stream. Um, this one I got a little bit more frustrated so far, but hopefully... I'm not like a, a conventionally great Doom player, so... I mean, I'm okay, but like... The more difficult maps are tend to not be up my alley so much, depending on what's going on in them. So I got really frustrated with that last map, but we'll see how it goes. I generally like the maps a lot. I like the ones by Evil Ned the most so far, because his had some interesting themes and stuff in it. Um, and I remember this guy, Paul D. Um, I think a later map in this map set that I played through before, I remember liking, so... Oh, what's going on? Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, no, no, wrong weapon. It gets noticeably, noticeably more difficult. Okay, we'll see. I mean, there's some, like, I definitely thought the architecture was cooler, f cool for some of the later maps. Like, I warp around usually, um when I look at map sets, just to see if, you know, if it's something that seems interesting enough for me to want to continue playing it. Um, and some of the later maps, even if they seemed really uh, hard, had some really interesting architecture, uh, which is one motivator for me to like keep playing, so we'll see. If not, it is what it is, but I'll at least give it a shot. The architecture is definitely, I mean, it's one reason, even even in the sets that I don't find, like, I admire Sunder, um, the, the, the Doom Wand, for existing, even if I don't want to play it, just because it's nice that those, like, architectural spaces exist, if nothing else, um, so, I, I'm not always a fan of the, the hyper difficulty. Oh, yeah, the switch hunting thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I get very passionate about design stuff that I don't like, and um, that was pretty That was pretty weak. Um, because I actually like puzzles, but I think maps like that... Um, he's The map 14, Sergeant Dopey's map, I played through, and I got really frustrated. Um, 
I like puzzle maps, but you have to design a puzzle well, and so many people don't, and that's the problem. It's it's just deliberately confusing. This this area is cool. It's just a progression that doesn't make any sense. Like I know people don't necessarily think. Um, oh god damn it. I, I know ne people don't necessarily think about this stuff, like, deeply, but it's just kind of like... Maybe I think about it too much, honestly, but, um... It's one of those things where it's like, if it makes sense to be weird, uh, to have a weird progression, then please do it, but if it doesn't make sense, why are you doing it, you know? That's how I feel. Um, and it just didn't make any sense. It was like, it did that thing of like, um... Like, oh god damn it, I did not mean to fall in that pit. Alright, I'll take that. I'll take it. This is this is kinda cool here. Yeah, I like this. This room is really neat. Um And it's like why why do you have to go back to another room and then back again? just to activate, like, you you activate a switch to activate it in another room on the opposite side of the, um, of the area that you're in, and then you come back to open, and that opens up a door that's in the room that you're in, and you do that, like, multiple times over, and there's, like, no point in it, you know? It's so silly. Okay. Cool. Generally, though, I think this set was, um, like, I, I was saying the last time, there's some really good stuff. Like, I've never heard of Evil Ned, but I really liked almost all of his maps. Yeah, increases playtime, exactly. People want to make their maps memorable by making them long, I guess? Oh, jeez. That was my own fault. This doesn't hurt you very much, which is good. Yeah, switch hunting is pretty bad. Like, uh, Doom already makes it hard. Okay, it doesn't look like I can make it. Oh, wait, no. No. Okay, let's do this. There we go. Shit. Well, hopefully I don't die here. <laughs> Alright, I'll take it. Oh, that's unfortunate that he's only done a few maps, because I really did um, like what I played. I think I, I think the next map is going to be by him, actually. Alright. Uh, I would have preferred not to be at 31% health, but that was my own stupidity, so... Yeah, I've been... I've been planning on doing Doom maps, it's just, um, I do want to do something a little more experimental, and, um, it just, it depends. I need to just sit down and, and, and make some maps, even if they're not good, just to, to do it. It's been years and years, like, I swear to god, I, I, I started trying to make a, a Doom map in, like, 1999 or something like that. It was a long time ago. It was, like... Doom World wasn't very old by that point. Cool room here. I'm sure it'll get hectic, but... Um... Oh, interesting, yeah. Um, yeah, the, from what I read on the, the thing for Evil Ned, um, he did not, uh, it, it seemed like um, almost all of his maps were older, um, but yeah, I'm just, uh, like, like I said, I generally, I thought this set was really good because, um, I think, uh, Phobos, whose map I actually liked, um, uh, said something in the, the text, um, file that, like, he wanted to, to be involved with a set that was kind of, like, a little more unpretentious, and letting people who are newer get involved and kind of like I didn't go in playing this expecting anything except to get some kind of novel kind of ideas because people are newer 
you know, do that. But I was pretty surprised when I first looked through by the quality of, of things that I saw and how it actually seemed more interesting to me than a lot of other sets that were by, you know, polished designers. And some of the designers have gone on to do more things, like, I guess Syriac Harris' first map is, is in here. It's technically first map. Um, but yeah. It's just interesting. I think, um, as much as I complained about the Cannonball map, um, I think that um, there's a lot more variety among Doom maps than I would ever expect there to be um, these days, and I'm really happy about that. I really think, um, even if I don't like a lot of things that come out in the community, like there's still quite a bit that is pretty out there for, for being what it is. Um, and I'm just happy that it continues to exist in the way that it does. Oh, God damn it. Yeah. Yeah, I I definitely made the mistake with the whole Doom uh, in-name-only thing um, about just being like, oh, I should probably... Instead of just trying to randomly direct a project, I should maybe, like... Um like get acquainted with a few people in the community and just make maps trade ideas with them or something like that instead of just making a thread so that's what I'll be doing in the future I think um, if I do stuff outside of like you know single map releases or something like that but um, you know it's a long term thing I've been into Doom and Doom maps for years so I expect to continue to be into it for a long time so I guess I'm not in a complete hurry because it feels like the community could have died at any point, and it hasn't. Alright. Yeah, this is cool. Really good lighting in this map. It's been pretty uh, pushover in terms of difficulty, and it's funny that I'm even saying that because um, of how much I complained on the last map, but it's kind of crazy, the contrast. Um, thanks, Keep Trucking. I have no idea uh, who and who I might try and collaborate with in the future. I definitely don't really feel comfortable with um, jumping into that right now, though, because I'm like, don't feel like knowledgeable enough or confident enough about my Doom mapping abilities. Alright. Um, what am I doing? Yeah, I mean, I, I like this map just because of the setting. For me, like, the setting is always a big thing with maps. Like, even if they're not as difficult, I always enjoy them. And it makes me, it makes me feel good. To see somebody putting, like, attention to detail and things, you know. Okay, what am I doing here? Oh. Huh. Um. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to, like get too aggressively shit-talky about it, but I just didn't, like, feel like the encounters, a lot of the encounters in that map were even that interesting anyway, outside of the difficulty. Um, but maybe it's just my personal preference. Um, I'm not really sure what this did for me. Maybe it, uh, activated something else. I opened something up. What did I open up? Yeah, I wanted to play map 31. I need to go back because I, I found part of the secret um, 
in Cannonball's map, like, I, I recognize that you had to hit the back of the switch, but I don't know what I opened up, and um, I probably had to go back to a different part of the map and find some other things, so maybe on a on another stream I'll go back and try to get to the secret level, because I, I have seen that map, and I, I am really interested in playing through it. Yeah, I'll check out map 32, possibly, too, if I can get to it. Okay, what is this? I didn't even notice this here. This is like, this is old school kind of uh, Doom environment, and I love it right here. Like, look at this, yes. That is, that is what I like. Some old school shit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's just got the, this, this like, Fucking chrome metal episode 2 texture here. He's like columns. Yeah. I'm, I'm all about it. Kind of surprised these are only, um. These are only zombie men. I know they can get. Okay, here we go. This is what I made. This is what I expected. I honestly have no idea what- oh, okay. They seem to teleport when they go into there, that's interesting. That's kinda cool, cause it is some consistency with this like, this like fire blue texture, um, t somehow teleports them. <laughs> Alright. Um, it'd be cool if I had shotgun ammo, but I'll have to proceed without it. Thank you, keep on trucking. Very interesting. <laughs> um, I'm so glad the stars align. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, I love this here. This is cool. It's that that old school doom shit. There's an archvile standing right here. You can see him right here. I'm gonna screenshot this. That's goofy. Oh, uh, yeah, you can see them here too. I guess the their sprites, if you view them from certain angles, um, you can see them because it's like too small of a. Um, alright, so I'm gonna get ready here. C 
kind of a, a little bit of a... A little bit easier because I have the BFG there. <laughs> Plus I already knew that they were there. Maybe that's intentional though. I, th that might be intentional. I'll give Paul D a little more credit. Because otherwise, this map is really cool. I see. Their sprites are bigger than their hitboxes. Yeah, that makes sense. That's fine, though, honestly. Oh, whoa. What is this? Okay, I'm at the end of the map. This is an interesting compass type thing. I think... So, from what I recall, there's like a sequel of sorts to this map later, and this might come into play there. But, um, I really like this. This reminds me of Alt, which is one of my favorite view maps. It's a little bit... There's like this kind of symbology or whatever. Um, cool stuff. I like it. Maybe some people think it's weird, but weird is exactly why I like Doom. Alright, so cool, ma cool map. I'll probably like this one too. Uh, because I like the other Evil Ned maps. Okay, lots of monsters. At least in comparison. So we'll see. Kind of strangely empty beginning, but I don't mind it. Um, is this... Nope. That was maybe stupid. Okay. Maybe this one? Oh, where is it? Nope. Uh, I said this before, but this is one of my favorite derm, uh, Doom textures, this grimy-ass, like, um, panels. And these two. Looks like Marathon, yeah. I could see that. Yeah, this map seems like it's longer. Evil Ned. <laughs> I'm really amused by that name. Because it, it's such a, a, it's kind of a, a goofy handle, so you kind of have no idea uh, what to expect with a name like that. But I guess Mr. Josh the, Mo the Mon is too. Cool. That like weird chainsaw sound that, I don't know what that sound is that um, barons make when they die. I always, like, it always sounds like a chainsaw to me. Of course, we all know that the um, Hell Knights say Agua. Because they're asking for water in Spanish. A revenant in a cage where revenants belong. God damn it. Wow. That is bad. I'm going to die. I'm okay with that, honestly. I handled that very poorly. See again, like, I might die a bunch in this map, but I'm okay with that, because interesting architecture. I will totally have... I have a higher tolerance. Um, although, if he does bring out... If he does bring out the arch files all the time, I might get irritated. Revenge of the Revenant? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. need that at some point, but I'm not going to pick it up right away. There was some kind of hit scanner here that I was getting hit by. Over there. Oh, 
Uh, I said this before, but I liked the uh, setting of the... <laughs> I think it's called Man Up Cave or something, the, the Mancubus level, um, which had a lot of this brown kind of tech texture. And I like it here too, honestly. Um, I think it's a pretty good texture theme. That was map uh, 14 that I'm talking about. That's also by Evil Ned and has some of this brown stuff. It's themed around Manky by Manky Bus. Um, and I enjoyed it for the most part. Yeah, pipe wall I like, um, and it's not used very often. At least in the way that I saw it used in that map, so... I like the more grimy textures, though, and that was definitely successful here. So he likes these kind of uh, repetitive hallways things, um, but the, the lighting is pretty good here, so... Plus, like, this is the, the thing, like... Uh, what do you... What enemies do you use in low light? Like, specters is the perfect choice. Spectres are the perfect choice, rather. Um, so, even when it's easy, like, it makes sense, like, in a weird way, you know? I'm not gonna say thematically, because I don't know, really, that there's a, any kind of backstory, but it just makes sense to put them in that kind of place. Um, not saying that someone can't choose to do something else, of course, but... Oh, what the fuck? Okay, let's kill these chain gunners. Oh my god. Yeah, that was... That was a little... A little dicey. Let's try that one again. I'd be, oh god, I'd be interested in playing these from, like, pistol start. At least this map. Maps that I like, you know, um, god damn it. I'm interested in going back and playing on UV, um, or playing them, um, from a pistol start. It's just like, you know, because I want to get more out of the map, I want to see all the secrets. I want to see what the designer has done and all that kind of stuff. Um, but maps that I don't like as much, I don't really have a desire to play them through on UV and... Um, especially not with Pistol Start. You have no idea if it's balanced for that anyway. I'll tolerate like a lot more um, if I like the idea something has. Uh, this is a small thing, but I really like um, this sort of there's not anything really here, but it's just this, like, big wall of, um, uh, nukage, and it's a nice detail, because it creates a kind of, a uh, nice sense of environment, even though there's, like, basically no detail here. So that's good. That's very, uh, it's very efficient. And I'm all about efficiency, conveying a lot with a little bit. A lot of the maps, uh, the, the Ned maps have done that, I feel like. Of course, that's not the only way to do it, but, you know. I, I generally like it. Because, um... I don't know, it's a, it's a personal preference. I like I like uh, minimalism when it's done right. Alright, 
Revenants. Where are they? Are they down? Oh, yep. Let's bring out the, uh... Oh my god. Thankfully, I can just move back. Yeah, he does have a good sense of atmosphere. See, this is like... Not... He's not a... Not somebody I ever heard of, and w not somebody who I'd expect just by their name to have interesting maps. So that's that's the good surprise of map sets like this. You you never quite know what you're gonna get. And um, these have been, you know, there. I haven't been blown away by like artistic stuff, but as far as it being like a really interestingly themed and. Um, Doom map that does some cool stuff in it, like he's his maps have definitely met that criteria. And that's really um all that you can ask for, or most of what you can ask for from uh, like a mapper that I certainly have never heard of. Um alright. I always think of like Evil Ned Flanders when I think of that name though, which is funny. There's like a Flan there's a Flanders Street in Portland here. Um, makes me think of that. Yeah, no, I I know that finding stuff like alt is very unusual. Um, that's a very unusual set. That in Sacrament, even from some of the authors that were in alt, like Archie, like I don't know what happened. He, he totally changed his style, or they, I don't, I don't know. They totally changed their style, um, afterwards, like, they did, like, a slaughter map set, and it was an okay slaughter map set, but it's, like, not really my thing, so I didn't really play, I, I just, like, looked at the levels. Um, I was just interested, because I really enjoyed Archie's maps, but that, it's kind of a, Cool. I knew I could find it. Um, but yeah, even a lot of the the um, mappers for alts didn't necessarily go on to do su super arty stuff. Or it's even some of uh, B Wen. I, I guess that's how you say his name. He's like he's done two of my favorite Doom maps ever: uh, Sacrament Map 13 and Alt Map 23. But some of his other maps that I've seen, haven't, they haven't been bad. There's been interesting things in them, but they, they haven't necessarily blown me away um, as much. So I guess having that theming or something helps. Um, I'm really... I like that I've seen some of the, the Russian Doom modders uh, participate in Doom World, though. Because I know the, the language barrier is obviously an issue. And I've seen more people, um, I mean, I wasn't, I was never the only person who really liked alt, but it's nice to see more people talk about that one. Because that one, that map set is really important for, to me, personally. Not just from a, like, a Doom Wad perspective, but from, like, an art perspective. Like, as somebody who makes art, I find that map set very inspiring. It doesn't even have to be a Doom Wad. That's not something that you find very often. Obviously, I have a background with Doom Wad, so I'm going to be more accustomed to, you know, really, really liking. something that's interesting and it's made in the form of a Doom Wad, so... But I, I like to play some of the other sets, and I, I feel like there's definitely been a lot of creativity in the Doom community, um, and I'm really happy about that. I would like to see more, like, uh, gender diversity. <laughs> um, it is a very dude bro -y game, you know? I don't know. It is very weird, um, 
I mean, I grew up playing Doom. I've been in and out of uh, following the community, even though I was only ever a lurker. Um, but just some of my life experiences and, and shit, like... Um, is uh, kind of... maybe at odds with some things in the Doom community. Um, but it's just kind of funny because I've like... I, I, like I, I'm not trying to brag about this or anything, but I have like met John Romero and um, other stuff like that. And I'm actually just as interested in meeting Doom modders in person. The only Doom modder that I've ever met in person um, was Matt Tropiano, because he was at Indiecade. Um, I know Jay Mickle goes to some uh, games events, mostly in the UK though it seems like. Oh, ah, shit. Oh god damn it. <laughs> Not handling this very well. Oh my god. I mean, I like this area even though I'm getting my ass handed to me. I have actually tried to ask some, like, oh my god. Like, I've asked my friend Natalie, who makes very strange, strange art game kind of stuff, uh, if she'd be interested in doing Doom modding. She might be. Um... And there's the, the, um, I mean, there are a few women. There's also, um, the woman who made maps on, um, the Japanese Doom Community Project, who does a lot of Doom fan art, and her maps were really good. They were total highlights. Um... I need to play through that one more, like, extensively, though, because I, I really haven't played through it that much. Um, I've been meaning to stream that one. There's another mapper on that set that I like. I think their name is Toasty. Alright, let's do this. I'm ready. As ready as I'm going to get, anyway. Uh, okay. Grab this. Go over here. Yeah, even though I'm terrible at this part, I enjoy it. Let's grab the plasma gun, maybe? Ooh, what does that do? That is probably helpful, honestly. Because I get some cover here. Yeah, I like... I think I made the right decision here. They're just clumping over here. I don't know if this was intended, I assume so. Uh, I better save before I die. I'm sorry if this is boring to watch, I just want to kill the fuck out of these guys. This is how I play Doom. 
secret doom strategies not known by many all right Yeah, let's not do that. Or that. Oh, what? That was an Eligaro trap, was it? I don't know what that means. All right. Keep that guy distracted. Why not? Let's keep going here. Okay, let's not keep going. Decommissioned. You have been decommissioned, spider robot. God damn. <sighs> this is getting a little a little rough and tough here. A little rough and tough. and tumble. Um, I should be doing a better job of this, honestly. This is... Okay. Not easy to be in a room with three of these guys. As... Yeah, you... Oh no, that was bad. I was almost through that whole section. Once again, we witness the limits of my Doom ability here. It's just hard to, to, to do this, honestly. Yeah, I mean, I think this part of the map is cool. Oh, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> um, just because it's a cool idea, um, I am dying a lot. I get a sense that if I were probably better at this map, that there would be a strategy I could take. Yeah. 
it's hard because um, I also just don't have tons of ammo and other stuff. Like, I'm warping in and dying instantaneously. Which just kind of sucks, you know? There's not really much you can do about that. Like, I'm not saying... I might... Like, if I were designing a Doom map, I might want to design something like this. Because I think it's interesting, even though it's very difficult. So, I can get behind it. Oh no! Back here again. It's not bad if I stay outside those rooms. Okay, good to know. See, I thought that this was, like, the good strategy, but... I was wrong. Turns out I'm in like a pressure cooker now. There's that guy. Yeah, this is... This is getting... Oh, I'm a little... I'm a little tired of this. Yeah, you don't really have room to move, which sucks. You're right. Like, I'm just dying almost instantaneously. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. I might actually be a little effed here, to be honest. Okay. I just want to kill, like, a couple of them. Like, that one is distracted right now. I'll kill him. Go in here. Alright. Let's hide in this corner here so we can take out this guy. Now we're back on track. Yeah, I, I found that out the hard way, unfortunately. That's okay. Like I said, I think it's interesting. Oh my god, that was my own stupidity. I don't know, maybe one reason for me playing wads that are a little bit too hard for me is getting better. Like, I mean back in the day I played through most of Alien Vendetta um, on Ultra Violence, but I also was extremely patient. Um, Cause saving and loading a bunch is just the way that I play the game, but... Um, I know that there are people who can just play through and kick ass from the beginning. Definitely not one of those people, especially not with a rocket launcher. using this. There has been not much health at all though, I will say that. So this map is pretty evil, I have to be honest. Alright. So 
sorry if I'm saving a lot. Oh, Archvile. Well, I don't like Archviles, but maybe I'm just giving uh, Evil Ned more of the benefit of the doubt here, but um, that is a place that I would expect to fight an Archvile. So from that perspective, even if it's too difficult for my poor doom mapping soul, um, Yes, you you beat it. Oh god damn it. Uh so yeah, this map is a little evil. Um more than a little bit. But I at least um can enjoy the um the some of the design decisions Damn it. I thought I could just... I don't know what I thought. Oh, nice. I do need that. No! I thought I could hug that wall. Resurrecting things, you fucking. Nope, nope. No! Damn it! How do you miss a. I really am not an expert with the BFG. No, wanna kill this guy, not you. Get. Uh. Get over here, Jesus. No! How are you hitting me from here, you asshole? God damn it! Oh, okay. Now I'm getting a little frustrated. Ugh. Wow, this, this really did jump up in difficulty, I have to say. Um... How long have I been streaming? God, I suck at this. See, I just can't handle it, like... Uh... There we go. That's what I wanted. Where's that other arch file? There you are. Go away, I'm fighting an arch file, and I don't appreciate the distraction. There we go. Oh, no, no! Oh my god, why did I have to get stuck on fucking enemies? Ugh. No, no. Oh, oh, okay, I didn't save. I didn't save after I killed him. Oh, yes, I did. What? Oh, god. It's too dark to really see things well either, which doesn't make it easier. I'm just making excuses at this point, I know. Where is this guy fucking going? He's all the way over here now? Oh. 
I'll take it. I got really lucky, and he killed that Baron instead of me. And then I got maimed by a fucking Baron of Hell. Ah, <sighs> Jesus Christ. Alright. Alright. I'll take it. Now I don't actually know what I'm... Okay, I'm gonna get, grab this red key. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna need to get inside there. How did I do that? All these map 26 can be particularly cruel. Good to know. I was thinking that um, I would be getting a little bit better by the time I got into this stream, but um, I don't know if that's the case. It's the combination of me being out of it and just not being that good at Doom. Plus, I think I'm I'm putting pressure on myself because of streaming. Because I think I would be a little a little bit smarter playing if I were not streaming. Um, what is? Oh, okay. So I want to get up to wherever the red key door is, which I don't see. How do I get out of this area? Is the question. The encounters are difficult on on this map or or 26. Yeah, I mean, th I I know it's not an easy map. I'm also like, I also know my ability level is lower than a lot of people because I just don't play it so much. It's just a matter of the fact that I don't play it quite as much. Um, like I like I like scrolling through and looking at different people's wads and all that kind of stuff and the architecture, but I don't play through things all the way through as much. I mean, I was like playing a little bit through Back to Saturn X and stuff like that, but um, yeah. So I'm trying to find the red key door right now. And I have not that's not shown up on the map, so I might have to do a little bit of exploring here. Yeah, as far as the area that I just fought in, like, it's a pretty interesting area, so I'm not... I w will not deny that. Wasn't... Um... Something that I'm particularly good at, but... Um... It was interesting, at least. I don't know, it keeps going up and down. Problem with streaming is like, especially maps that you've never played, can be really easy to get lost because you're so distracted. Something that keeps opening up over here. Oh, is it this door? Oh, this was the entrance. Is there something back here? No. N oh! Uh, now my radiation suit is running out. Okay. Well, now it's time to find wherever I use the re red key. Okay. Time for me to get some shut eye. I look forward to seeing the rest of your playthrough later. Thank you. Thanks for coming by. Um, I appreciate it, Dobu. Nice to uh, get the take of more people on Doom World. 
Oh, here I go again. Alright, let's just save here and see if I can't find... Okay, so what's through here? Oh. Alright, I'll need to go on the other side there. Thanks for playing. Thank, thank you. Yeah, thank you for being part of making this. Um, I generally enjoyed it. Although, you know, difficulty stuff is like... I don't know. There were a, a couple. Like, I think the biggest bullshit thing was that map 14. Um, just because a lot of that stuff was unnecessary. All the way to the bottom left of the map. Okay, good to know. Thank you for that. That I appreciate that, because I'd be looking for this for a while. That's a little goofy of a progression thing. I'm not sure how I would feel about that, unless there's like a teleporter or something that takes you over to that area of the map. I think that's a little bit of um, unnecessary backtracking. Um, but... Wrong way. Alright. Oh, oh, okay. I actually remember this area. Oh, god damn it. I was amazed that I survived that encounter for as long as I did. That was not pretty boss. But it was not terrible. Yes! Kill each other! Murder each other! you guys fight. Damn it. I didn't want that to happen. Alright, I'll take it. That could have gone far worse. Oftentimes dealing with encounters is just a matter of like, oh god damn. It's just a matter of going to the correct place, like... Um... ended up with about the same amount of health as I had on the other time, so let's save there. I always kill myself with the damn rocket launcher. Chainsaw sound. Alright. Cool. Um, maybe I could just avoid those lost souls, or, um, pain elementals entirely. 
Is it over here? No. It said bottom left. Hello, yes I see you. You've made your presence abundant, abundantly clear in the chat. Um... Alright. Here we go. I saw this earlier. It's just really small. Okay. I can deal with that. Oh shit. That was poor. Poor form. Um... Don't worry about it, keep trucking. Don't worry about it. I can pick off some more people and not get hit a, a lot like I am. Got a Discord going? No. God damn it. Once I finish this map, I'm probably going to finish streaming because I'm a little tired and been a little exhausting. I'll at least feel like I've done something though, so that's something. That's all we can do sometimes. What? Who's shooting at me? Okay, imps. Okay, let's move back. Take some cover here. Oh, and I got hit by a fucking Mancubus fireball. Wonderful. My definition of wonderful. At least want to kill these hit scanners here. This is a really cool area, and I hate that I'm doing so poorly in it. Oh, God damn it. Morning, Liz, chat. Hope you're doing well. Thank you, Mindless Drone. Um, I'll probably play a little more of this, but um, I don't think I'm going to play lots more. I'm almost done with this map, I think. It's pretty long. Um... If I'm not, uh, we'll see. I think I'll 
God damn it. I'm just gonna kill myself. Um... I might try and play, uh, a little bit through the next one just to see what it's like, um, or I might not. I've been dying a whole lot here, so... What's the time in Portland? Late. It's, it's Pacific time. Let's try going this way. Gotta mix it up a little bit sometimes, you know? It's important in life. This is a. Oh! Okay. I did not want that to happen. Because I, if I had just hit him once more, I wouldn't have to deal with that. This map does seem to be a matter of um, walking the wrong thing and you'll spawn pain elementals. I don't even know anymore. I keep thinking that I'm avoiding things and they keep hitting me. I'm just gonna kill myself again. <sighs> Sorry y'all have to see me sucking big time at this this squad. I'd be, I'm kind of embarrassed to even put this on my fucking ch uh, channel once it's finished. Yeah, you fight with that guy over there. There we go. I released something. Alright, let's... oh. Let's not do that. There's some kind of spider enemy up there. Let's see if I can get the secret here. Yes. That is very much appreciated. I'm not here for the speed run. That's good. You will die. What? Oh, uh, uh, Mancubus shooting at me from other side. Oh, Revenant, okay. No Mancubus. This is clearly BFG time. not know where the teleporter is, so that is a... Yeah, th that's not how to do it, basically.
Nice, that's how to do it. Is this, okay, it does open. It was a little silly that I fought single barons with just a, okay, hell no am I, I am not trying to use the rockets on these guys. Because they'll try and spook me, and I don't want to be spooked. Alright. This has been bearable. Um, also just not good at this game. <laughs> Single barons? Did I call them hell knights? Or did I call them barons? I don't even know anymore. It's late. Actually, I... Technically, I stay up later. Um, but I'm also just tired. I got up earlier than I usually do. Which is still probably not early by normal human being standards, but... Okay. Decommissioned. Let's not have it crush me. Oh! That was lucky. I like to stay up late too. Well, that's good. Um... Can I get that? Oh! What am I doing? Oh, I never released the pain elemental, or they got killed. Either or, I'm okay with that. Okay, yeah, I need to go up from a higher ledge, seems like. Yeah, I, d I doubt I'm gonna want to play through another map after this one. I mean, this is a cool area, this map has been cool, it's just, it's just a matter of what my poor little playing ability, my poor little mouse and keyboard can, um, can handle. Okay, well, um, I will be using the BFG more, I can tell you that, because I have plenty of ammo for it. Gave it my best, gave it my best shot. Sometimes it's just not good enough. You motherfucker. Okay. I want that medikit that you're standing next to. Stop hogging it, Impy. Alright, that is an easy but Oh! It, no, it is not, apparently. <sighs> well, back to square one. That's how you use the BFG. That's how a pro does it. Let's 
It's so hard to see these fucking guys. I just kind of shot and hoped that it would auto-aim towards them. And it seemed to. Cool, we took care of those guys. Now there's just little fucker McGee over. Oh, never mind. Oh! Let's get out the. Oh my god. See, this is the fucking problem that I have with Revenants. You go around the corner, you try to avoid them, and. you still get fucked. Just hard to predict, really. It's okay, I still made it out of that one alive. Oh, I am lucky to have dodged that guy, but I will take it. Sometimes the game is generous to you. There is definitely RNG in this game, um, without a doubt. And sometimes it can be generous and sometimes it's not. Sometimes, like, a, a monster walks right in front of you and takes the hit for you. Or some, like, you're just, like, a, a pixel off from getting hit or something, you know? And, um, you don't end up getting hit. And then sometimes you think that you've dodged something and you end up walking right into it. I've had both happen to me. Are these shooting? Oh, I'm confused now. I don't want to be confused right now. Oh! I'm an idiot, is uh, the basic problem here. Not sure what that actually did for me, though. Oh, okay, there we go. Something to do with how the sprites work? No, I don't... I mean, there might be... It's hitbox stuff. I think it's mostly hitbox stuff, honestly. Um, and the enemy interactions with, you know, the way that they interact with each other sometimes. The monster infighting kind of stuff. Um, I'm not sure what I opened up, but I opened up... I did what I needed to do, so... Um, let us go back and see if I... Oh, there's a monster down here, so... That's a sign. That is not a sign. Oh, well, I need to get down here, so... Oh, I feel like this guy was here the whole time. But maybe I'm wrong. There is a cyber demon now. Interesting. Can I two-shot him? Fun fact, I have never two-shotted a cyber demon in my fucking life, so the answer is probably no. know what I was looking for anyway, but it's pretty subtle about how demons spawn. In this particular part? Yeah, I can see that. Um, oh! Mine! I can get away with not even fighting him if I wanted to, right here. So long, asshole. Bam! Not the exit! Uh, oops. God 
God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> That's about what I thought. I thought I was being cool. And instead, I was being a fool. Yeah. Catch you in my rays. God damn it. Well, I'll take it. Not the real exit, I guess. Or I could go to this secret and get mauled. I don't even really know what's up here. Oh, that's where I'm supposed to um, get the... Oh, I must have picked up a Mega Sphere somehow. Okay, I'll take it. Um, where are the other blue key doors? Wasn't there another one? Uh, I'm gonna keep going. I can't really tell because of... Wow, it is hard to see. Yeah, that is a very appropriate name. Okay, let's see if I can two-shot him. Of course not. When have I ever done that? Nice. As in, not nice. Yeah, that's right, asshole. I don't even know where I opened up. Um, this is a cool lift, by the way. Um, the two shot is hitting him twice. Uh, you have to be really good to hit him twice because of the way that the BFG works, basically. Um, and I don't quite know how it works. Um, I mean, I, I have a vague understanding of the way that the BFG works. Um, but it's, it's a lot more complicated than one might think, um, basically. Um, you have to get, like, the rays to hit him of the BFG correctly. Oh, there's the exit. Oh my god. Uh, that took me a really long time, so... I might just see what this next map is. It was fun. And I'm just happy to get through it just for the experience. Um, yeah. So, even though I got frustrated... I did have fun. So that's something. Yeah, that was a pretty random exit, I agree. But I didn't mind it. Alright. Let's just see what this uh, next map is. It's a cannonball map, which means it's probably not up my alley, but... Thank you. Good job for me. Oh, Cyber Demon right away. Uh, okay, well, they were teleported, so... Um, I've seen that happen before, that, that trope of... You see a really hard monster at the beginning and it's teleported. I don't mind it. Honestly. Not a, not a bad trope in my, in my view. Can get overdone. Um... There was one level in, I think, Vanguard that did that with Archviles, and I thought it was pretty neat. Oh, also Hunted. I guess Hunted is the, um, the Plutonium map is the, is the map that does that. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting idea. Oh, it's definitely not letting me hit these guys. <laughs> but I'm going to cheese it anyway, because that's what we do here.
I hear that arch file. Um, oh, what am I doing? Interesting MIDI. Oh. Let's actually hit the monsters I'm trying to hit. Wrong weapon. I can't aim worth the shit, okay. Okay, this map set is not pissing me off so far. Where's that asshole chain gunner? Or pit scanner? Oh, there he is. Grab that. Always good to have more rockets. No. I refuse, Chain Gunner. I refuse. What? Oh, god damn it. The moment that you're start about to start use rockets, the, the specters appear. Uh, Spider Mastermind. Interesting. Spider Masterminds um, are not nearly as bad as uh, Cyber Demons because they don't move as fast. Uh, as long as you're in an area with cover. Um, or you can get them to infight. Um, I will definitely try and kill this thing. Yeah, there we go. Hopefully I'll still have enough BFG rounds to to take down the um why am I even using this? I, I should use the rockets. Alright, I hear the Cyber Demon here. Yeah, I'm liking this map a little bit more than the previous Cannonball map. Maybe I was a little hard on him. I just... I don't know. I didn't like that one as much. This one has a little bit more interesting architecture and stuff so far. I might actually try and get through it since I'm a decent ways through it already. Here's the Cyber Demon. Good opportunity to see if I can practice that two shot thing here. Nope. Okay, so a setup that I saw, and I might be totally um, bonkers in trying this, but was this guy was doing like something like that? I'm just gonna practice it a few times, um, and then I'll just move on if I if I don't get it. Oh, he did a fourth rocket, okay. Sorry. Sorry if this is boring to watch. Okay. Yeah, you get better at avoiding those. Couple more times. That was good, that was, I think it was a three shot, but I hardly hit him the first time. That's what I was aiming for.
Uh, yeah, and if you, I think if you move a certain way, you can get more rays of the BFG to hit him, which is how you can do the two shot thing, because the 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 damage of the BFG is very variable. But I, I did a pretty good job there. That was a pretty good one, as far as I'm concerned. I had a really good um, opportunity to practice that though. Yeah, the BFG, the, um, they don't really tell people, um, a lot of people don't know about how it works. I only know how it works because my friend JP, JP LeBreton, um, told me about it. Uh, I also, um, had a chance to play John Romero in Deathmatch at, um, GDC, the Game Developers Conference, one year, and, um, it wasn't pretty. Not, I didn't expect it to be. I killed him once, um, so at least there's that. But like he used the BFG all the time, and I, I, I didn't think at that point I really understood how the BFG worked, so I didn't really know what he was doing. But he programmed the damn thing, so kind of an unfair advantage. But it's okay. It's okay, John. <sighs> so he's supposedly oh. Here we go, time to use some rockets. Um, supposedly going to be working on some sort of new game. I have no idea what exactly, though. There's still that arch file that I didn't fight at the beginning. Should I go here? Yes, I went here. Alright, this is, I've been surprisingly decent at this map so far. I think having a really good supply of ammunition has helped a lot, honestly. That's why I like continuous play. Um, not pistol starting, like a lot of people do. Pistol starting really isn't my thing. Because I can just rocket away these bastards. Makes it a lot easier. Oh! I'll take it. I feel like that chain gunner made like an imp death sound when it died. When he died. Whatever. Be care oh! Nope. Oh. Yeah, that's right. The advantage, uh, different enemy types? I'm not sure the exact number. There are quite a few. Um, you're, you're seeing most of them though, right now. If not all of them. Uh, I don't think you're seeing pain elementals, but you've seen pretty much every other enemy type so far. Maybe like 10 different enemies? More than that, I'd say. This is a cool area. Yeah, I don't mind this map so much so far, so... Sorry for trash talking you in the first the first time around cannonball. This one's given me plenty of rockets. I know obviously I play it um on a different difficulty or not continuous play and it wouldn't be so easy, but I'll take it. Another arch file up here. I bet I'll have to fight another cyber demon too, honestly. I like the way that these guys fly out of the pain elemental. Alright. I recommend the Brutal Doom mod. I'm not really a Brutal Doom fan, to be honest. 
I know a lot of people are. People have their preferences. Wow. I thought I could move out of the way. I was obviously wrong. No! I did not want that to happen. I survived. Not ideal, though. I'll take it because it's not a death. Alright, at least I have some armor here. Oh! I'll take it. Oh. Hmm. Can't go here yet. About half the monsters... Um... So obviously I need the yellow key, um, and it is right here. I don't know if there's something that will switch it on here. I don't think I've gone to all the areas yet, so I'm pretty sure this is where I entered. Tis. But I've not been down here. So let's do that. actually paying attention this time, so that didn't trick me. Brutal Doom is way too over the top for me. Not really my bag. Um, but yeah, Doom is recommended. Doom 1 or Doom 2. Doom 1 is better, personally, in my opinion. Um, but Doom 2 has a lot more of the enemy types and stuff that you'll see. I'm technically playing Doom 2 right now. To be more strategic with my thought or uh, my shots here. Chain gunner that just totally decimated me. That was not fun. And I died. So that's even more not fun. That room is fine though, I just handled it poorly. Like, this is the kind of map that Again, maybe it's just because I have more ammo and stuff, but it's more fun to me to play this right now than it was for me to play Map 15. Alright, let's take care of this guy. Blowing up chain gunners with a rocket is just so satisfying. Here's the chain gunner that fucked me up before. Didn't fuck me up quite as badly that time. That did fuck me up though. Dead. Oop. Let's just kill myself there. Um, chain, chain gunner, sweet gossip. Oh no. 
Uh, I'm probably just gonna get through this map. I played way longer than I expected. It took me so long. Like, I'm only on map 19, 18 now. I died so much. These maps have gotten a lot harder very quickly. Like, map 16 was not hard at all, but 17 and 15 were very hard, and this map is no easier. 17 especially. It was an interesting map. Um, so, I'm happy I got to play it, but... Damn. It was pretty intense. Same set as yesterday. Actually, um, one of the, uh, the organizers slash creators of uh, this set, somebody who did some a few maps in it, uh, stopped by and was talking in the chat earlier, so that was cool. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm sorry to say I might not be streaming much longer. We'll see. I mean, I go to bed super late. I do actually, like, need to work on stuff before I go to bed. Um, oh! Oh my god, this is the best possible thing that could happen. Well, a Megasphere would be the best possible thing, but that's pretty close. I did not want that to happen. So many chain gunners. Dead. Oh shit, I didn't fight these guys. Okay. Oh. Damn, it's so hard to figure out. Sometimes you can hit the wall. Oh. Sometimes you can just hit the wall on on rocket shots, even though it doesn't look like you're nearby a wall. That's my fr that's my frustration with the rocket. I don't think I quite get it. Maybe this imp came at me too, and that's why, or demon came at me, and that's why I I fucked up. There we go. I'll take it. So hard to hit. I should probably not be wasting so much ammo on that guy. But we do what we can. And I know that there's quite a bit of shotgun ammo over here. Or a tiny bit anyway. Alright, let's pull out the rocket launcher. any vertical aiming in this game? Um, not technically, I, but with Z-Doom there is. And I use Z-Doom because I like Mouse Look. Mouse Look was not part of the game originally. They had auto-aim. They still have auto-aim actually, even with Z-Doom. Um, 
But yeah, I can aim vertically if if I so choose with Z Doom, but not in the vanilla normal Doom engine. I almost killed myself like three different times there with the rockets. Playing with fire. Oh. That is how we do it. Save the cell and just grab that. Uh, two percent health. That fares well. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh! I knew there was going to be another Cyber Demon. God damn it. Oh, these guys, yes. Oh, there you are. Just in time. Let us save. Yes! Let's try this, this strategy again. See how good I do. Okay, that was not good. Yeah, this is, um... This is modern Doom Maps. Right here. God damn it. I did a really poor job of hitting the Cyber Demon. I'm trying to do the, like, either two or three shot strategy, but I'm not saying that I'm any good at this. I'm not trying to claim that I'm good at fighting Cyber Demons, because I ain't. This is partly practice for me, so that's why I keep doing it. Looks like I might have killed him um, two shots that time. God damn it. I'm patient here because I'm not good at fighting cyber demons, um, so I want to. Oh god. You never know when he's gonna fire. There we go, got him. That wasn't quite as good as- oh my god, I don't want to fucking die on a Revenant after killing a Cyber Demon. Um, not quite as good as that other attempt that I made that turned out really well. But I'll take it. I got some health here, so it's not the end of the world. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad that you enjoy watching that. I don't know. I'm not like... I know sometimes people expect pro playing. Yeah, okay, I've killed most of the monsters on this map so far, so... We might as well just make it to the end and, and call it a day at map 19. I've streamed, again, way longer than I thought. So, we're trying to find... Um, what did this open up? It spawned in a bunch of monsters. I, this section might have been optional? No, 
Remember that. Huh. Yeah, I still haven't picked up the, the red key, which I was looking for before. Oh, it's right here. Um, how do I get to it? Oh, okay. Well, I... looks like I did everything right. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I'm glad that you you would enjoy my narration on paint drying. I'm a little perplexed why you would enjoy watching that, but... Everyone has their thing, I guess. I'm cheesing them a little bit here. That's how we do it. So I'm not supposed to be able to aim up like this in, in vanilla or regular boom. Because it makes it really hard for them to hit me, but I can hit them pretty easily. So, yay. But I'm going to take any advantage that I have, that's all I can say. Nice! Telefrag! Bam. 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 Go for the chainsaw. Continue to go for the chainsaw. Nope! Oh! Okay, I think I can hit him from here. Get out of my way, Mancubus. Trying to kill an Archvile here. Yes! Okay. That is what I wanted. Okay, I can kill this Archvile because I can use movement to my advantage. Also, I had a good luck because he got caught on a corner there. That's the kind of archvile that I have no problem killing. Whew. Well then. Here we are. I hear more archviles, so... I'm pretty equipped to deal with them right now, though. Cool. Um, still need to figure out how to get this yellow key here. Okay, this is the entrance from here. There are three different red key doors. I think I've entered in all of them. I just picked up the red key. I have not gone in this door. Cool. Let's actually hit things. Oh, let's not do that. God damn it. This is this is the problem with rockets. Uh yeah, it's nice to to know Doom pretty well. I will not claim to be an you know, a super expert on it, but I have been following Doom for a long time. Cool. Alright. Damn it! Ugh. 
I'll take it. I won't be happy about it. I really shouldn't have gotten hit by that rocket. I was extremely close to avoiding it. Alright, I don't know what this did. Hopefully it um, lowered something. Oh, here we go. I can probably get this guy with rockets. Just fine. Yep. Push over. Yeah, I'm actually having a lot of fun on this map. Um, so I take back what I said about Cannonball's maps, but again, maybe it's just because I have... Um, Oh, weird. Um, okay. Uh, I don't know that I was supposed to do that. Is there another thing I can activate? This one's co quite nice. I'm liking the map. Yeah. Um,. Yeah, map 15 by, by Cannonball was, again, a lot of difficult encounters, but it was less interesting. Um, and it was earlier in the map set, so I had less supplies, I guess. I just didn't like it as much. Um, I was really frustrated with it, to be honest. It didn't go too long, but it was just kind of boring to me. This map has a lot more going on. The map with the horrible switches, yeah, the, the actual, the guy who directed the project, like, or one of the pre people who directed the project, I won't, I don't know if they're a guy or not, um, uh, said, like, yeah, we should have, we should have fixed that, like, because that was pretty bad. They said that they watched the stream, and, like, yeah, that was pretty bad. It just, it's just silly, it's just silly, silliness, that's all it is totally unnecessary. Um, once again, I do not know where to go. Okay, there's a red key door over here. I will try this red key door. It seems like this is probably what I need to do. Yep. Alright. Let's be ready for something. Oh! Already been here. Already killed them from the other side. Huh. So now I am kind of confused. This is just a different... I did not hit that switch. That might be the switch that I needed to hit. So maybe it's fortuitous that I went there. Okay, let's save right here, because we know we all know what's coming. Surprise! A bunch of monsters didn't spawn in right there. I'm using the BFG almost no matter what. Yeah, you don't give someone <laughs> that much BFG ammo without that being an expectation. We can do this. Can do this. Oh man, I almost had him. This is not difficult, I just need to... Confused by those flame pillars? Sprite doesn't seem to, sh to do damage. Um, 
Not sure what flame pillars you're talking about. Like these? Yeah. Sometimes, like, if you walk in this, like, hot furnace areas, it'll damage you. God, how long have I been streaming? Do I even want to know? Oh, still not the end. Oh, nice! Oh, yeah! Thumbs up. No secrets. The Sprite of Fire, I see. Um... When they raise their arms, oh, okay. Um, you, you have a certain amount of time before you will get damaged. Uh, and that's the whole strategy of fighting them. If you put a wall between them, then they won't hit you, but... Yeah, it's, it's, it's confusing. Okay, let's save Moldy. I'm sure this map will be cool. Um, I've actually played a little bit of it before, but, um... I'm gonna finish the stream, because it's late as hell. Um, and I'm tired, so hopefully I'll, I'll probably stream more of this, I don't know, maybe tomorrow, maybe Tuesday. I started off so fucking frustrated, but, um, I feel a little better now. So thanks for tuning in, sorry you only got to see a little bit of it, Syntecta, but it'll be on Twitch, um, and YouTube. Uh, thanks, Mindless Drone. Yeah, thanks, and thanks to Dobu, Dobu, I don't know how to pronounce their name, for coming in too, and, um, keep trucking, etc. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you have a good rest of your day, or evening. See ya!